now let's see how you can actually create a video so i'll just click on edit now i need to select a template we have a lot of templates that are like predefined and inbuilt in the tubebrusher app so it's gonna take uh, around a minute to load all of them what i'll do is i just select one I'll be selecting this one this is tech type so I'll be selecting this one I'll click on continue to next step now you see this video is playing in the back and whatever content we have edited in the campaign wizard is coming here you can see we have four lines so four slides will be created here so this is our wizard here you can change the transition type here you can change the ratio of the video here you can change the resolution of the video once you are done just click on save so now let's see how we can use the editor we will see a, like a lot of other options as well okay so let's start now first if you want to add any media into the video just click on media here you can search for it i'll just type as computers i'll click on search you can use the stock images and videos or else you can drag and drop your own image or video here so here these are the images so now if you want to use this image just click drag and drop it here you can see you can easily drag and drop it anywhere you want okay so i'll just drag and drop it here the same thing goes for videos as well just search click drag and drop and it will play in this particular slide so this is all about adding media now let's see how we can add elements let's say if you want to add any arrows just click on arrows just click drag and drop you see and uh, you can resize it as well so this is how you can add the elements we have a lot of elements as well and the process is exactly same just click track and drop these are some lower thirds and these are some gif these are some smileys that is the emojis just click track and drop okay so this is all about elements adding elements into your video now let's see typography so here i'll just click on add text this is my text i'll just change it to tube rusher now what i'll do is i'll just select it that is i'll click on it i'll click on font color i'll just change the font color to red you can see the font color is changed here now the background color i'll click and i'll change it to green you can see the background color is also changed here now i'll just click on it i'll change the font size to 26 and i'll change the font to can it bold now i'll just drag and keep it here so this is where the text will appear in the actual video as well so this is all about the typography and for example if you want to change the style of all the text in all the slides just click on it and then click on apply now the whatever styles we have selected here will be coming in all the slides you can see here so this is all about typography and in the ad story let's say uh, like we have four points here right so those four points will be visible here to add a new slide with that particular point just click on the plus button and a new slide will be created with that particular text you can see this text this is the text that that is here so i clicked on plus button a new slide is created with that particular text so this is all about ad story and in the ad branding you can add your logo and you can set the position where it should appear right top right bottom left bottom left top and left center and you can set the width as well 
so this is kind of watermark and this is all about branding now let's see transition so transition this is a transition between the slides so this will this is applicable only from second slide what i'll do is i'll just select second slide and you can see whatever is selected here is the selected default transition of the slide you can change it always like when you hover on it you will see two options first one is name second one is preview if you want to preview this transition just click on preview and it will now show how this transition looks so this is how the transition will look so i like it what i'll do is i'll just select it and leave it and the third slide this was selected i'll just select this one and leave it and if i click on apply this particular transition will be applied to all the slides so this is all about transitions in the music you can add a background music uh, to the videos uh, and uh, like you can set the volume as well you can see the preview here you can adjust the volume of the preview here as well so this is all about music and in the voiceover here you can see all the text in the bottom of the slide right so this feature will create a voiceover of these text and embed in the video and this will be played on this particular slide so to do that all you have to do is select the engine select a voice and then click on apply that's it it will automatically create for all the slides the second option here is to record you can record your own voiceover for this particular slide or for all the slides using here or else you can upload your own audio file as well okay so this is all about voiceover and this is all about editor and of course if you want to add a new slide without any data you can click here and once you are done you can just click on save if you want to delete a slide just change the duration here to zero this is basically duration of the slide if it is five this slide will be playing for five seconds so this is all about the editor on how to create amazing and mind-blowing videos using QBrusher. Once you are done, I'll be just clicking on finish and it will be queued for render. So render will take anywhere between 30 minutes to up to 6 hours based on server load. So this is all about creating campaign.